Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Campus Hero promo coming in as a Wildcard Wednesday F promo. Now, guys, all year I've been saying this. I was super hyped by Wildcard Wednesday, and people were like, didn't think it was that good. But the thing with Wildcard Wednesday, I feel like it had so much potential. Like, obviously, it was veterans, flashbacks, power-ups. I was like, there's so much potential for them to use this as an excuse to drop random stuff like a Motivators promo, like a Campus Heroes. This is their way of tossing in promos that we were used to seeing in years past and toss them into random Wednesday for no rhyme or reason and just give them to us, which is what I kind of like about this. Now, first off, shout out to today's Poodle Squad. Shout out to Hurlbert for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. But moving on from that, if you guys want a chance to shout it out, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad and turn that noti bell. Guys, there's so many new Campus Heroes. If you need to pick up any, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for... 15% off your order. Take advantage of the Blitz ongoing uh, sales over on Mutt Reserve. Take advantage. Yeah, that's about it. First right here, upgrade your team with Campus Heroes. You don't need any master's degree to see why adding these legendary players to your lineup is a good idea. So we have 24 missions, which means 24 total players. So here we go. See Jonathan Vilma, Shockey, Wolf Work, Work, and Leroy Butler. Obviously, those aren't all of them, but there's some. We got earn underclassmen players. So collect 32 underclassmen players from packs or the auction house to create 192 Campus Hero. And of course, they're auctionable and everything. Here we go. So here's a set. Turn in 32 players. You earn 82 overall. To turn in 82 overall, 32 of them, to earn a fantasy pack where you can choose one of the 24, 92 overall all conference players. So here's the, there's actually a reroll set here. 82 plus overall campus hero players. You can just keep rerolling these, seeing your luck. Don't know if it's worth it, but I already like this better because the other ones, like veterans and heavyweights, are stupid because pretty much you go ahead and you spend more training than the card's worth and you just end up losing. Here you can actually reroll a little bit and test your luck. It's 82 plus, 650 training. So here we go, we got Peter Rorick. Oh, and this is a big thing. All of the campus heroes have all their team cams from any team. So they can't be powered up, but they do have every team cam. So like Tim Tebow, Jets and Broncos, um, Nick Fairley, Lions, Rams, and Saints, Bruce Matthews. Oh, in secondary positions, Bruce Matthews, sorry, Bruce Matthews can play left tackle, left guard, right guard, and right tackle. Pretty much the entire offensive line. So definitely cool. Let's get into the screenshot. So Jonathan Vilma, I'm just gonna highlight some key stats here, and if I think they're worth it off the rip. Uh, 86 speed, 88 hit power, 85 zone, 88 block shed. Decent, not great. If you have a Jets team, team he's fine. I find, I want to I want to think he's on the Saints too for some reason. Could be wrong, but he does get 90 zone with lockdown. He doesn't have a decent run stuffing ability. Decent speed, but not great. Ken Norton, right outside linebacker. He cannot pass rush. He can decently run stuff and he has decent speed. Not my type of outside linebacker. Sorry, we got David Pollock or Pollock, uh, right outside linebacker. He's got 84 speed. 91 power move though, so he is a pass rusher and he can stop the run. He's going to be a decent guy, a decent budget, like budgety pass rusher, not exactly. He could be a good uh, Bengals team team guy. Not great again. Carlos Rogers, cornerback for the Red oh, Washington football team. Got to got to fix that because it's not their name anymore. With lockdown, he does get all the thresholds. I'm um, gonna be too slow though, so again, not great. So far, not too great. 92 overall left tackle does get all of his blocking above a 90. 89 strength, great card, could be cheap. He's a good card. I like him. Jeremy Shockey for the Giants. 87 speed, 94 short running, 90 medium at running, 93 catching, 92 catch traffic. If he could get a power up, he would be great. But because he cannot, he is still really good, especially because they gave him a good speed. But if he can get a power up, guys, he'd be insane. He'd get 99 short running with uh, play fake, and he'd have 88 speed and great catching. And he's like six foot seven, I think, or something like that. He's super tall as well. But definitely a great card. Matt Stitchcomb. Uh, let's see. Left guard, all above 90 blocking besides run block of finesse and run blocking. But again, if you put Zomer on him, he'll have all of them. Again, a good a good lineman, not a great lineman. Tim Tebow, 87 speed, 91 uh, throw power, 91 short, 88 medium, 86 deep. So, again, not, not a great card because specifically he's not going to be able to get all the throwing thresholds, and he's not crazy fast. And we have to see the behind-the-card stats. Maybe he has a good truck. Maybe he has a good stiff arm. Maybe he has some good stuff behind the scenes that could make him really, really good. But until we see that, we're not entirely sure. But otherwise, as a quarterback, definitely not a top option. Pat Watkins, free safety for the Cowboys. Has the 90 zone. We'll get 90 man. We'll get above 90 play rec, 91 speed. Good free safety. Not great. Would be pretty good on a Cowboys team team, but they do have Cliff Harris. Vince Wolfwork finally back in the game. 94 block shed, 84 power move. Going to be a purely run, a pure run stuffer. Not going to go to pass rush. Now, typically, that'd be good, but we are playing mutt, so that means that we have defensive tackles who can block shed like that and also power, and also have a power move and also have speed and acceleration. So, Vince Wolfwork, not your guy. Cadillac Williams. It's a cool name. Halfback. Uh, 91 speed is decent. 92 change of direction is good. 92 agility is good. 85 trucking, 86 break tackle. 
kind of looks like a budgety version of Saquon Barkley if you look at it. Like borderline power back, pretty good agility, change of direction, pretty good speed. More like a budget Saquon on a Buccaneers team team would be great. Uh, Trace Armstrong, his left end. He gets 93 finesse move, 88 block shed. Now, if he could have gotten 90 block shed, which he can't run stuff, if you do, it'd be pretty good. Uh, but otherwise, only a decent, decent end. Cornelius Bennett, pass rusher for the Buffalo Bills. He gets 90 power move. He will get 90 block shed with run stuff and 84 speed. Again, going to be decent, not great. Leroy Butler, 89 overall strong safety. Sorry, 92 overall strong safety. For the Green Bay Packers, 89 speed's low. 93 zone's good. 81 man's low. 80 hit power's low. Not a great safety. Randy Cross, right guard pass protector. Everything's above a 90 besides pass block finesse. You can get that up probably if you use a certain cam. Could be go deep, play fake. Either way, Randy Cross is a really, really good lineman. Uh, especially, you know, not, not great, but he's really good. Nick Fairley, 90 power move, 82 block shed, 90 strength. Actually a pretty good defensive tackle with 75 speed, 83 tackle. 83, oh, sorry. 83 excel, 75 speed. He does have 91 tackle. He isn't able to uh, run stuff and pass first simultaneously. So, really good. Not great again. Keyshawn Johnson, 88 speed alone is going to kill a wide receiver. But he does get all the route running thresholds with go deep. And he can catch. And he's really tall. But again, I don't think he's going to be that great. Maurice Jones, Drew, finally back in the game. Now, again, these promos, this is the thing with this promo. Before you guys think I'm hating on it. This promo is not meant to give you the best cards in the game. They're meant to give you cool, unique cards we're not used to seeing in the game. That don't need to be powered up, per se, for like team cams or stuff. They're not going to be the greatest cards in the game. But I'm letting you know. If I if they're good for this promo, they're good. If I don't say they're great, that just means they're not meta, right? Maurice Jones drew 90 speed, 87 break tackle, 90 change of direction, 80 catch. Very, very well-rounded receiving slash juking slash power back. I think he's good. I don't think he's great. Matt Leinart, 90 throw power, 93 throw short, 91 uh, medium. 80 throw deep. Toss go deep on him. We'll have all thresholds. Decent throw power. Decent card overall. Bruce Matthews. Actually, a, I think he's actually going to be great. Because he can play every... Oh, I'm sorry. Earlier when I said that he could play most alignment slots, I forgot he was already center. He can play all the linemen slots. So, it is good because you can toss him anywhere. Like you can buy him there at a um, at 92 overall and then just toss him across the line. It's like, oh, you got a new center? Put him at guard. You got a new guard? Put him at the other guard. You got two guards? Put him at left tackle. So, I do like him. I think he's actually great. I think he can actually fit the current scheme of the game. Reggie Nelson, 89 speed at safety is really slow. 91 zone's good. 81 man's low. 88 hit power's good. So, overall, not a great card. Ozzy Newsome, we'll have the medium route running threshold, we'll have short as well, play fake, we'll have good catching, 86 speeds too slow, kind of looks like the other um, team of the week, tight end for the Ravens, we got, let's see, Peter Warwick, wide receiver for the Bengals, 91 speed, we'll not, we'll actually, we'll hit all the, uh, the route running thresholds with play fake, but the catching's too low, kind of looks like a wannabe speedy, but still slow receiver that needs help to get route running, uh, Herschel Walker is the final one, now he's actually really good, 92 speed, 93 excel, 90 agility, 89 carrying, 63 catching, 90 change of direction, 90 trucking, and 88 break tackle. He's fast while also being a power back. Herschel Walker actually might be one of the top 5 to 10 backs in the game, depending on how you value uh, running backs and what you value first. Yes, he may not be the fastest one. I believe that is Saquon Barkley, but he is going to be, actually, it could be, Sa I think it is Saquon, but he is going to be right there, and I think he's more powerful than them. He's kind of, this is what Derrick Henry should look like. Slightly below the fastest guy while also being a trucker. Herschel Walker could be really good. That's close it out, guys. Which it, guys. That pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed today's video and you're excited for camps here, let me know down below who is your favorite one there. I personally really like Herschel Walker and a few of those linemen. Let me know who you guys like down below. Let me know if they do another installment of Campus Heroes. Who do you think got snubbed? What Campus Hero, like an Odell from LSU, like who do you think we should be seeing on there that were meant a Reggie Bush? Obviously, it's too soon for him because he already has a high overall card, but you guys know what I mean. Let me know down below what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Heading over to my reserve. Use code Poodle 15% off. Comment down below Poodle Squad. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.